Hello and welcome back to the Level 7 Games Podcast, where we talk about movies, video games. Uh, magazines. Magazines a lot recently. Uh, trading card games. You're into magazines. That's why. I am. But it's ma- okay. It's okay. Magazines are cool. I like print media. I, I think it's... Yeah. I think it's it's like comic books, right? But magazines are like a different kind of, I don't know, just thing I, to be like, oh, that was cool back then, remember? Yeah. I even just bought another one today. Really? You know what? It'd be really cool to buy like an EGM collection. Like if somebody had a compl- – if you have like a complete mm. EGM or uh, even Game Informer would be really cool just to have everything. Well, they're still printing Game Informer. Well, I know, but I mean like everything – back oh okay from from the beyond from the beyond time yeah, yeah. <laughs> the pre pre-covid times <laughs> back when things were normal yeah. <laughs> um but yeah i bought the godzilla life magazine today mm. it's just all about godzilla stuff it's like how do you do your makeup if you're godzilla <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like Lot First of thing you want to do is start <laughs> with a, a primer, fill in the cracks, and then you're going to get your base <laughs> and blend it into your eyes. It's Yeah, it's because of the... Uh, I don't know why he talks like, like that. Girl, well. That's a lizard voice. Yeah, probably. Okay, sorry. But yeah, it's just because of Kong versus Godzilla. It's like the history of Godzilla up till now. Oh, I thought you said Converse Godzilla. I was like, they're doing shoes? Converse Godzilla, that'd be dope. I'd totally buy me some Converse. That'd be sick. Con- they're like they got like the scales, right? That'd be sick. That'd be, that'd be dope. I got black socks on. Like a light up blue socks on. That like just like that would be goes tight. Across. Yeah. Something. That yep. I'd totally wear light ups again if it was Godzilla themed. Oh, that would be cool if it's like, but it goes right. Like it fires like not like like a little blinky like yeah, oh no, it's a it carnival like it, yeah. Every time you take a step. That'd be sick. That'd be really cool. That'd be super cool. All right. Well, now we're talking about shoes. Welcome <laughs> to the Level 7 Podcast, where we talk about whatever the hell we want. Yeah, I like talking about shoes. I like shoes. I need new shoes. Shoes. These ones Remember that? Me quick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Shoes. Oh, my God. Shoes. <laughs> some, oh, my God. Shoes. <laughs> some early YouTube <laughs> Dude, shit. That was, I was like, real early YouTube that was when I that was when I mistook it for U two. Mm. Somebody's like, "Yeah, just look up U two dot com," and you're like, "Yeah, yeah, 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 <laughs> right? yeah, 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 yeah." So I went there. I was like, "There's a video. This is dumb." U two dot com. He's like, <laughs> "What a beautiful day! Yeah, 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 yeah." <laughs> Thanks, Bono. All of your contributions are. <laughs> Fucking thanks, dude. Giant turd. I don't know. Maybe he's... What if he's like, man, what does everybody make fun of me, mate? <laughs> I don't Isn't know. he Irish? Is he... Hi. I think they're Hi. Irish. Hi. It's me, Bono. I don't know how to talk. <laughs> I don't know how to do these voice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all the people around the world. Whenever I do a bad... Like, I'm sorry. Okay. I'd be stoked to hear if somebody around the world is listening to this. Around the world with level seven. Doom, 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 doom. Farting around the world <laughs> with Russell Crowe. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, man. Good stuff. Okay, so on to the, our first topic. That took a little bit. Uh, the Game of Thrones musical <laughs> is coming. What is going on? So <laughs> That's it. That's all we know. Okay. Um, the Game of Thrones musical. So apparently they're doing a musical... <laughs> About the uh, God, what's his name? The Richard guy, the, the Richard how Gear. he, yeah, Richard Gear. They're talking about this gerbil thing that happened at some point. I, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Do you have any information about that? I have no clue. What we're talking about at all. <laughs> oh, okay. They're, maybe Google that. I don't. I don't know. Man. That's a free. That's a freebie. Anyhow, go. um, so there's a song about it. There's a song about it. Uh, anyhow. What the fuck are we talking about? Game of Thrones. There's a song about Richard, Richard Gere, Gere and his gerbil and a gerbil. I don't know, man. I don't make this shit up. It just right. the, this is Earth. Okay, I just live here. I consume its goods. Um, I'm missing out on some good goods. Apparently, you are. Um, anyhow, what the fuck are we talking the about? Game of Thrones musical. Oh, it's a prequel to the show. Essentially, it's it's about the Richard the Great or whatever his name is. 
I don't know. I don't remember his name. I, I'm oh, I suck at this. Like we're talking about it, but I don't actually care. Um, I, I like the show. I watched I watched every season. I watched every episode. But uh, apparently they're doing a musical, which I'm not the biggest fan of musicals. I'm not saying musicals are bad. I'm sure there. I, I mean there are some that I like. It's just ones. it's not the thing I'm seeking out. I'm not like oh man, let me go to go watch fucking every, every musical and criticize him. Anyhow, <laughs> I wish I could contribute, but I know jack shit about Game of Thrones. Okay, well, anyhow, the king at the beginning of the of, of of the first season, the guy who was the king, Richard. Okay. Uh, he. It is a show about. It's a musical about the war that he won. Cool. Hopefully, it's good. I mean, I doubt it. I don't know. Who cares? I, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I'm never going to watch it. I I'm thought it was funny. The show. So the reason it was a topic on here is I just thought it would be funny to be like, okay, let's let's pick our own cast of like singers to Ooh. to who would be in this musical if we decided. So I was like, what if Cersei Lannister was uh, Courtney Love? <laughs> but but the, you didn't watch the show, so I, it's not very funny to you. Yeah, but I'm sorry. I don't know any anyone. So, uh, I mean, so so that would be the first one. Uh, I I don't know, man. It's kind of weird because you know, it, like it's like meatloaf could definitely be the mountain. I think that would be funny. <laughs> I just love me some meatloaf. He's amazing. I would do anything for love, but <clears throat> I won't do that. Anything? No, I won't do that. Okay. Well, this is a uh, less of a topic. I'm it's so more. No, I'm not. I'm just like eh, I don't really have much to say <laughs> about it either. I'm just like it's just a conversation point. There you go. Yeah, the conversation is, what didn't you like about Game of Thrones? Oh, we're... Okay. Uh, well, I legit rented the very first disc of the first season back in the day when you could do that. And our... Rest in peace. Yeah, our rental store had a bunch of pornos, and they just got mixed in with stuff from time to time. So every once in a while, you got a happy little accident of, I don't know... Here you Star go. Wars the parody porn or something, and you're like, "Hey kids, right. what are you watching?" Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so we got oh, we got Game of Scoot Thrones. Scoot over. <laughs> no, go go play outside. <laughs> uh, Don't I'm turn gonna, it off. I'm gonna have to rewind this. Dad, DVD. <laughs> go outside. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I keep derailing. So we, <laughs> we rented the first DVD. We put it in, and if you've watched Game of Thrones, you probably know that the very first scene is a dwarf having sex with, like, four women. I mean... And I was unprepared. I, I, like, everybody kept referring to Lord of the Rings or, you know, like, Willow or, like, these other fantasy movies that are fantasies and not porn. So, well, I mean, you I know. just assumed we got the wrong disc and we stopped watching and then we went about our lives. So you you only ever watched half of the first episode, or just the v very beginning? The very beginning. You never even There's, got past no. you, you, you. So the dwarf scene is the only thing that you've seen. Yeah, because oh. at the time my wife was extremely uncomfortable with pornography, and uh, that was it. She was like, "Nope, we're not watching this." I was like, "All right." Fair enough. I mean, I can see that. It, it's. I don't know. I think it's unnecessary, but I think they were doing it for shock value at the time. Back when it was a shock value. That's when Spartacus was doing it, too. Yeah, they're just and I like, was watching Spartacus on just, my own. They're just like, throw a dick or two in there. Yeah. And it's it was, fine. It was always so weird, because it felt so forced. <laughs> don't Both dicks always. story-wise <laughs> and, uh, you know, like, <sighs> any other way. But they're like, how can we set it up where there are two lovers... But his dick sound. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to come in with the camera and just get that helmet right there on the top. <laughs> You're like, oh, God. He's like, oh, there's a furry little bastard. <laughs> there he is. Get it. Get, get it. that bloody little Trice, chimp. <laughs> Trice it down. I want to wiggle. <laughs> You're like, God. I am smart. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so. I never watched Spartacus. I did watch all of Game of Thrones, but... yeah. The first season was good, and then the second season, they really started pushing for the, hey, we have sex. We have sex. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. And you're like, God, this has nothing to do with Spartacus at this point. I mean, so you weren't at Spartacus? <laughs> I don't, maybe that's all they uh, 
I I mean, it's no, I don't know. I don't. I'm kidding. I have no I'm, ki- I'm kidding. But yeah, it was just one of those things where it. I didn't even watch all of Spartacus because of that. Because so you're just I, like, I've consumed enough. Uh, yeah. Un, unnecessary well, amount of. Right, and th- it was also at that time like unfortunate, uh, like cancer. Time for the the main actor of Spartacus as well, so they had to replace him, and I was like, ah, fuck this, I'm done. Right. So, and I mean, just to start a show like it that. seems it seems weird to like, yeah, I have to watch a show when the main character is replaced. You're like, and that yeah. kind of does it for me. Sorry, like no matter what, like no matter right. It's and like, I was and like I said, it was getting uncomfortable anyway. And then that happened. I was like, nah, fuck this, I'm out, I'm done. Fair enough. So I. Yeah, so that was pretty much the time, and then watched that first like twenty seconds. So I was like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna start a show like this." Awesome. <laughs> did you uh, Did you ever watch the Legend of uh, Huey Cox? The um, mm. what's it, John C. Riley movie? It it's sounds... basically it's a walk hard or oh uh, yes yeah. yes yes or walk is that yeah walk hard yeah because Rep- it's the make it's the thing a parody parodying. Walk the line. Walk the line, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Instead of Johnny Cash, it's Dewey Cox. Yeah. Did, uh, remember that fucking scene in that movie where he's just on the phone and that dude just walks up and you just see his, <laughs> his <laughs> dick is just in the <laughs> shot, just right next to his head. And he's just like, yeah, just nonchalantly just having this conversation. Just, just like looking at Giant. It. Yeah, whatever. Right. I do remember that. That was funny. But, yeah. Hey, what are you going to do? So there you go. There was a really long roundabout way as to why I've never watched Game of Thrones. Hey. I mean, you have the right. Um, cool. Well, what do we uh, what are we talking about next? Because Game of Thrones is actually kind of just... Oh, hi, Zeus. Next uh, thing that we had on the list was Oddworld Soulstorm. Ooh. Are oh. you excited about this one? Oh, my God. Am I? Fuck, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I am so freaking excited. I love the odd world games they are so good and i mean we even got this bad boy the odd or odd world abe's origins book as a review copy from the nice people over at a uh... oh god i can't remember i'm sorry we'll, we'll we'll throw it up i'll throw up like the logo before we even say it so you guys get that extra little bit of time but Ooh, extra bit of time uh yeah. well if they put their branding on here anywhere I, i'm pretty it would sure make it's it... like the first green page the first green page? Yeah, because it's white with a lot of green on it. Um, but yeah, like this thing's like the origins of Abe and like it goes into the backstory and how they created it. And Lauren Lanning, the creator uh, of this whole story, like what gave him the idea, all that cool shit. So especially ever since I read this book, like I liked the games before, but then I got this book and now I'm obsessed with them. So I really can't wait for... Uh, Soulstorm to come out, and it's even free to PS5 owners. I don't know how books work, so... Okay, I'll look at it. <laughs> but yeah, even like day indie, one... Oh, Indie by Design. It's oh, right there, there on the spine. Oh, uh-huh. yeah, there you go. Indie by Design. Indie by Design. Book, it's right there on the spine. <laughs> this book really is incredible. If you like Abe's Origins and you love having, you know, books, physical media, like a cool insight. You like having books? You nerd? Yeah, no, I'm just I, kidding. I love books. I do, the only my only complaint about this entire book, it's white. Yeah, like the whole cover. Did is, it did it not come with a like a dust cover? Or? No, it's just the way it comes. It's just like this. Like if it had a dust cover, that'd be amazing. I mean, remember how you used to make dust uh, covers for like textbooks in school? Yeah, with the paper bag. Yeah, I've been very tempted to do like a clear one because I obviously that is a cool picture of Abe on the front. It is, but well, we were supposed to. I, I was gonna do more prints of the Abe design. But I'd have to, the Abe Design shirt that we right. did a long time ago right, for right. this, for the release of this. But I thought they would have done a physical release for it. I'm kind of, that's the one thing I'm disappointed about. There's no physical release for the game. It's They haven't announced a physical release? Mm. That sucks. I've just been kind of hoping that I missed it somehow. Yeah. <laughs> like, I assumed I didn't, but I, I was holding on. Just to nugget. Yeah, it's. <sighs> They'll probably do a limited run version of it. No. Which is why I'm very happy we're getting it for free on PS5 first. Because that's the whole reason I don't even own New and Tasty physically. It's because they only did it digitally first. And I paid the $30 day one, of course, to play it. Oh. And now it's just like, well, now I want a physical copy. But it's all just limited run stuff. and my. 
Well, I wonder what the uh, publishing rights for Sony are. Like, is it a Sony exclusive forever? Is it a timed exclusive? Does Sony own the rights to it? Mm. Um, can Sony publish it? Good question. I don't know. Because if, if so, I mean, it would seem weird that they wouldn't try to do that. Like, obviously, like, they try to push the, the PlayStation Plus memberships from the PS5 by putting, giving a re- really cool game away. Yeah. But then eventually they're like, fudge it, let's release a physical version. That's my dream world. That would be nice. It's not what's going to happen, is it? It's not. No. Nope. It's going to be a <laughs> fucking limited run. <laughs> no. Of, of which, you got to wait four years to get it made. I know. Because they're going to go through the whole cycle of it being free at first. Then you're going to have to pay for it. Then it's going to have like a remaster or something. And then they're going to do a physical copy of it. Mm. Because that's exactly what they did for New and Tasty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, I love you guys. But just make a fucking physical copy. Don't don't ring us, string us along like this. Well, they don't have to pay publishing rights. I know they don't have to do anything, and they're like, "Oh fuck, you're just gonna pay me?" Okay, fuck it. I know. It just it really is better for the developers for digital, but for as a consumer, we were talking about this last week. It fucking sucks because the moment that any of your games get old or a system is just considered outdated, it's gonna disappear. It's just going to. Right. And. It's, it's just gone. It's just fucking gone. Especially if it's a game that didn't do well and nobody wants to make a remake of, or a remaster of or anything. Well, hopefully, I mean, they could they could do a uh, like a bundle with the two games. That would be amazing. Like a physical bundle. I don't know. Again, this is just wishful thinking. I yep. doubt any of this will happen. None of this shall come to <sighs> fruition. It's just, yeah, it's just all, I, I bet they're going to do it through limited run. <laughs> and God, I am still waiting. By the way, on my games from Limited Run, almost seven months now. Yeah, but COVID, remember? Yeah. <laughs> so for everybody that ordered shit after the games that I ordered, have gotten some of their stuff already. Yeah. What's the? Uh, what's? I mean, what are you waiting for still? I'm waiting for pretty much everything, Shantae. Wow, that's been a minute. It's been a long ass fucking time. I, and I you ordered... got to pay up front with them, right? Oh, yeah. They already have my money. I'm just That's a nice no-interest loan for waiting. them. Yeah. And the first one, like, I, I was hoping to receive the physical copy of the Game Boy Color version of Shantae. Sure. From Limited Run, so I could try it out on the Retron SQ. Sure. Which has been announced for a year and a half or something, shit like that. And I even thought about that back when it came out. I was like, cool. By that point, I'll have it. I'll try it out, see if the Retron SQ can do, you know, repros that are done fancily. Right. Nope. Like legit ones? Yeah, I can't tell you yet because... What do you th- what do you think of that SQ? You know, I really don't hate it. Yeah. Like, As long I, as you just accept its limitations it's for now? It's definitely disappointing. Sure. Right now. Right. Because, uh, yeah, Game Boy Advance games, if you're not playing an RPG... Or actually, Doom and Doom One, oddly enough, work. Good. They work well. Both Doom and Doom One work hmm. just as well on the SQ as they do I mean, on a Game Boy Advance. I mean, it's Doom, baby. It I plays mean, on everything, right? Like that's exactly what I said when I was doing. I was like, of course, this fucking works. You're it's like, Doom. It's fucking Doom. Like, <laughs> like yeah. it works surprisingly well. But every other like Game Boy Advance game, if there's action to it, it doesn't work. The frame rates get weird. Yeah, yeah I couldn't even get it to boot up a bunch of games. Oh, some of them I've literally had to wait like six minutes for it to. Load is that in. what it is? Because it's dumping the ROM. Yeah, if you see the red light flashing, uh, it's actually dumping the ROM still. And if, but if it if the red light on there, it just isn't doing anything. Then just turn it off and pull it out. And try again. Because they also have the, um, or it it doesn't read the multi cards, right? Not even a little. Yeah, I did get it to read the sixty two and one Game Boy Color one at one point. Mm -hmm. And it pulled up the menu, and I was like, did it actually load? And then I picked a game, and it just refreshes the menu. Nice. That's as far as it got. And then now every multi-cart I try to put in, it identifies as that 62-in-1 cart. Right. So, yeah, it's just not going to work. Which is a real bummer, because... That would have been convenient. Yeah. It would have been fun, but hey, what are you going to do? I mean, yeah, it's not a bad thing. It's just for games like Resident Evil Gaiden... Shantae. Right. Fucking Pokemon Crystal. 
I Dude, actually Pokemon Crystal is crazy expensive now. Yeah, and that's one that I have a repro card of, and it's just a single game. Huh. And that one doesn't work either. But I do have a single print repro of Daikatana. Yeah. And that one works. Hmm. So it really depends on the game. I almost guarantee it depends on the quality of the repro. Right. Uh, and I wonder if there's any way to like get to those, like if it dumps those ROMs, if there's any way to access it without putting the game in after that. Right. I mean, if it has to write the ROM to the, I don't know. Whatever. And that's kind of what gets me excited, though, because especially with that micro SD port on the back. Dude, people are going to hack know, the shit out of it. Yeah, it's going to be like five months, and we're going to be able to put on whatever the fuck we want on that thing. Yeah, so, that's true. I didn't even think about that. So, yeah, like like I said, I'm excited. But and it I mean, is if it can actually run Game Boy Advance games, and you, oh, oh, I feel like that's insane. It's just going to be a matter of time. Right. So that's why I'm not like freaking out about it like a lot of people are they're like this is shit i mean it says like, on the box that it's in beta i mean they're they're telling you literally on the, on the box it's printed like hey this is gonna be a minute yeah before this works the way we want it to which is it's nice at least they're committing to the fact they know it's not done yeah and so yeah i uh, i'm not completely pissed well, and I think and the other thing is anymore, like, we have to come to accept, and I mean, even with these retro consoles, consoles get updated. Look yeah. at the P- I mean, PS5, it's fine. We accept it with that. Like, it's just part of, it's the nature of that console. Same with, you know, every other, like, modern console. Why not our retro consoles, too? If they can make them better. Yeah. Let's let them. Yeah. I, so I just wish it had, like, an Ethernet or Wi-Fi so you didn't have to do some, like janky ass memory card right. swap i don't know it's that, always that always feels like kind of goofy yeah and the man the card that they put in there is cheap as fuck oh dude i can only imagine like it does it has no branding and like the numbers that are on it's like a 528 oh okay and it's, <laughs> it's just, just like, like barely printed <laughs> on there with white and you're like they're like we don't even have enough ink they just they press it in there right they're just kind of they like, scrape uh, it in there by hand just they're like do it. Uh, <laughs> So I'm definitely excited for when people crack that and then I could just put in a 128 gig mofo in there and just be like all the Game Gear games I want, all the Game Boy, all Game Boy Color, all the like maybe all the Turbo Graphics games. Shit, yeah, I'll def- all- I'm definitely just going to turn it into a, a portable emulator at some point. Yeah, I mean, I well, I mean, if if they could actually make that happen, you could probably take the guts of that pretty easily and. And you know, hook it up to like an LCD. Is that what you mean? Like just actually like retrofit it into some other modded portable oh, no. type. I, like I'm a put weird... some handles on it, like screw some handles on the side of it, and just be like, "There's my Game Boy." Yay! No, actually, uh, I do love building just like Game Boys with mods on them and stuff. So I, I'm just doing that. Nice. And then uh, I I just love having consoles connected to my TV. So the fact that I could just throw in a Game Boy game on my TV is cool. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I would much prefer to play it on a TV than on the actual handheld. And what's crazy is it, it seems to run Game Boy Color games, like, the best. Like, it feels like Game Boy games are, they're good. They're not bad at all. But, like, something about Game Boy Color games on there, oh, they just feels, it just, it just feels amazing. I don't know what it is different. Hmm. It, it's probably just the controller, because the controller is actually pretty nice, too. Yeah. And you can change the aspect ratio on it as well. So then you're actually getting like the true like yeah, you square. Can, you can do the 4 by 3 or the 16 by 9 And right. really, even when you put it in 16 by 9 it's not like horrifically stretched. Not like it looks awful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm, I'm digging it. Okay. Cause well, I, yeah. that's cool. So I mean, it's like a little disappointing that it doesn't work as well as we could like hope. But it's it works as well as maybe like they kind of set the expectation for like hey this is not done right like if you were paying attention and you understood that game boy advance doesn't exactly work on it yet i think it does exactly what you want and that's what we've been telling people at the store too like hey be be aware because i mean obviously it's like if you go into it with that assumption it doesn't work you're gonna be like this thing's broken it sucks so. right and the the, o- the one thing that scared me about it, though, that if it didn't work, I was just going to be full-on pissed. But for a while, it took way too many tries to make Tetris work. Mm-hmm. Like the OG Game Boy Tetris. You're like, this should not be... Right. Like, something is just... I know this game works. Yeah, it's like, 
how the fuck does Tetris not work? But Pokemon and like every other game I have on Game Boy and Game Boy Color work perfectly. Hmm. How does this happen? I don't know what I, I must have, it must have just been one of the first ones I tried and I didn't know that you had to let it load in all the way maybe. And I just got impatient and was like, this isn't working and like pulled it out. I mean, that's what I kept doing the other day. I didn't realize that it had, it could take a while to dump the ROM. So that's probably what I kept doing because I was like, this isn't working. Right. <laughs> Although there was one random game. What the hell is it called? It's like a Pokemon wannabe, and it's a really tall black cartridge. Do you know which one I'm talking about? Really tall. Oh, damn it. Black cartridge. I'm going to flash it on screen because I have it at home, and I cannot remember the name. But there's, like, it's it's a game where you can replace the battery real easily, like, on the front. It, like, it even has, like, a little it door. A po- it was... It's not Pokemon, but it's it's like Pokemon. Is it Metabots or something? No, not Metabots. I can't remember. Oh, it's driving me crazy, but whatever. I have it at home. I'll just put it up. Okay. And uh, That game. For some reason, when I put that one in my Game Boy Color, it works perfectly. Because hmm. uh, it has a fresh battery in there and everything. Uh, but whenever you put it into the Retron, it doesn't show that I have a save file. I think that's the only other... That's the only problem I've had so far with anything that isn't Game Boy Advance. And that one's... It's probably... That one is just weird it's in a, some way. It's a weird as fuck cartridge because, mm. like I said, you can replace the battery on the front, <laughs> and it has that's a, handy. Yeah, and it has a, a like the the sensor on the top, like they do for Pokemon Soul Silver and Gold. Right. And you could trade wirelessly with it, like all built into the cartridge. That's why it's like huge. What game could it be? I don't know. I forgot I have my phone. I mean, I got a I'm laptop dingus. right here too. <laughs> well, it's in my list of games, so it won't take uh, me that long. I see. So especially I see. since I can't remember the name at all. Yeah, it's, it's a real. It's it's a. It's just a really weird one. Most obscure. It's an obscure title. Hmm. So, uh, well, but w- while I'm looking for that, speaking of obscure titles, we're talking about Ooh. playing It Takes Two, which is a, a co-op game. Because we were talking about Dynasty Warriors. Yeah. Yeah. I may have skipped one and went right over to Dynasty Warriors, but I, I just I saw this. <laughs> but we were talking about playing this tonight, but then it was like, eh, we won't be able to play it very long. That's not too entertaining. But it's like a, a game that is co-op only. Yeah. So it's like uh, that one game, A Way Out, that like prison escape game. Did you see that one? Yeah, yeah. I, I saw that one. I just never obviously played it. We should definitely try that That'd be kind of um cool. oh boy there you go oh yeah i'm leaning real close to my sorry <laughs> robo pawn oh uh, yeah yep. yeah mm. I, have, I have sun version i bought it for 11 bucks nice yeah that's not one i see too often that, anymore yeah that one's getting up there now yeah i was gonna say like i don't know hmm. when you say the word knockoff it sounds like it's a cheap game that's true sorry but I guess everything's a knockoff of Pokemon, kind of. Well, a lot of those a lot of style. Them are, yeah, that, I mean, like that, that style of game. Where it's like, collect stuff and fight with it. Get We're this thing Pokemon. and raise <laughs> it. We're not Pokemon. We're not trying to copy that. It doesn't evolve. It digivolves. <laughs> That's <laughs> different, you Slight, guys. It's slightly different. Um, <laughs> and then Pokemon just copied that shit and was like, ah, oh, it's called Mega Evolution. Now we got Mega Evolution. <laughs> now we got... Uh, different breeds. The Gigamax and Gigamax man, V Max dogs, um, whatever. But anyhow, so Dynasty Warriors is um, they're making a movie. Yeah, and it looks fucking cool, dude. I could not stop smiling as I was watching that trailer. Like it looked like a kung fu superhero, full on just like fucking action flick. I am stoked. It looks like, if you've played the games, it looks like the games, which is awesome because the games are fucking ridiculous. Yeah. But if they can actually, like, make the scales of, like, the battles and stuff feel, like, big enough, it could actually be really cool. Or it could be really hokey and stupid, but still fun. Yeah. I mean, those are my kind of movies anyway. Those are my kind of games. Uh, So, except for Monster Hunter. I know we said this last time, too, but I mean it. Don't watch that movie. (laughs) 
This movie's terrible. Yeah. If you watch that movie, we'll find you. We'll hunt you down. We're, and we'll, we're coming to get you. you. steel wool. Yeah. It's very specific. Yeah. Oh, well. What are you going to do? <laughs> hey. It's the only cure for it. But I don't know. Did you did you play? So I, I can't remember. We kind of talked about it before. So have you played the Dynasty Warrior games very much? The only time I really played one was when I rented a PlayStation 2 back Damn. when they were new. <laughs> and mm-hmm. I rented a Dynasty Warrior game. Okay. On accident, which led to a really awesome thing because it was in the Animusha case. Mm. But I played that one for two days, and then I brought it back, and I was like, you guys gave me the wrong game. And they're like... And they're like, oh, that's totally our bad, gave me Animusha, and then I got Animusha for free for two days. That's amazing. I was like, so yeah. did you have to keep renting the PS2? Long? I did. I had okay. to pay more for the PS2, but... It was worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, Animusha and Dynasty Warriors, fuck. Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, those they're both amazing. But the fact... So did, did you play Dynasty Warriors, like, solo? Or did you get to actually do the co-op stuff very much? I think I did it by myself, because when you rented it, I think you only got one controller. Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's still really fun. I've gone through some of the Dynasty Warriors a couple times, just it's on solo mode, because you can actually just, like, rank up specific dudes and, like, earn a horse for them, or, like, you know what I mean, get their weapons upgraded or shit like that. And it's, like... It all happens in a really weird way. It's not like a normal progression where you're like, okay, well, you know, I'm going to get to level six and then I'm going to get a horse. It's like you've ranked up to, you know, this to general and now you're awarded this servant man. And he's just <laughs> like, uh, Here's, I'll clean your, your spear for you or something goofy. Um, it's just really specific and awesome because they're like, yeah, I feel like I'm. I want to keep ranking up, man. I Hell want to yeah. see. I want to see what random shit they're gonna give me next. <laughs> it's just so, so odd. And then I, I don't know. Like at the very end of the game, you're you're just so overpowered. You're just murdering thousands of people. Freaking Sauroning your way through just hordes of humans. Exactly. <laughs> just m- m- dropping moo shoes or whatever the hell it's called, mouse sows or whatever your Mushu. super moves. You know what I'm talking about. I don't. You know, you get your, I didn't get to play so it. So you get like a Mushu meter. I, don't, I can't remember what it's actually called. That might be it. That, that might be completely wrong. But it's, it's like a Disney meter. It's like stretch it's up. like an ultimate meter at the bottom. And so you fill that up and it's just like, okay, XX triangle, XX triangle. And you're just like, whoosh, 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 until you fill up this meter and then you hit that. And he's just like, Whoa, does some like super crazy, oh, like killer that's move. That's when they get like their elements and stuff like fire or yeah. lightning or, you know. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I know what you They you're get way about. stronger and you're just chopping through dudes like Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. It's, you're talking about. it's tight. It's tight. Hells yeah. Dude, I am so excited. Yeah. I'm very excited for that movie. That movie looks amazing. Sorry, my coffee wore off. I'm just like That's <laughs> <laughs> Um <laughs> Let's see. Uh But yeah, I finally got myself a copy of uh Dynasty Warriors 4. Nice. I'm excited to start playing that, cause yeah, I gotta I gotta play one of them before the movie comes out. I don't, cause I've never beaten any of them. I mean, they're long as shit. That's fine. I love those games though, cause it's like you got your little mini map, and it's like you'll have your target dude, right? And so you'll have you'll be this little guy, and you gotta like try to move across the map. So you're battling dudes all the way, fighting through, and then you gotta like fight the officers to open the gates. So you're going through, and, like, you'll get through the gates, and then, like, just out of nowhere, you'll meet, like, a sub, like, a little mini boss. He'll just come out. There'll just be, like, two of them or something. And you're, like, battling these other two, like, badass dudes that are, like, dropping these crazy combos on you. And you can, like, try to run away. Or just kick the shit out of them. Or most of the time, you just die. Honestly, they're fucking... Oh. They, they're, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, you, you whoop their ass eventually is kind of the point. But Right. Yeah. But sometimes you'll flee to fight another day. Ooh. See, it is one strategy. Sometimes the strongest warrior knows when to not be a warrior at all. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a real quote, but uh, I enjoy it. I think it is. Um, so the other thing that we have written down to talk about is Magic the Gathering Strixhaven stuff what is <laughs> just stuff just stuff just stuff, stuff in there's there's things so i mean the spoilers have started um this set looks pretty cool 
Have you yep. seen anything about it? No. So it's like um, it's a take on the the like wizarding school thing, the like Harry Potter Goblet of Fire shenanigans, where there were like several different schools, and each one is themed differently, and they all have like their specialty whatevers, right? And all their different like, oh man, this is my professor. This is very like big personality. So it's like there's the professors. There's like I think five different schools, and each one of them like represents either like a single color or a group of colors. And, you know, obviously, like, well, maybe it's not obvious, but each each color set and color combos kind of have specific ways they work together. So each mm. school is themed in that way. So I think this is, like, intended to be, like, a good introductory set for a lot of players to essentially, like, explain, like, here's how the, col- here's how the color combos work. Um, you know, here's here's why these two colors work the way that they do in this specific way and and. I I don't know. It kind of breaks it down, right? Which is cool. That's pretty pretty awesome. Have they? Have you seen any dwarfs? That's always going to be my question. I have not, but but the next set is the Dungeons and Dragons set, right? And there's going to be some dwarfs in that one. I bet. That's all I want. I bet you. That's all I want. I bet you. Because yeah, I now that I think back on it, I do remember looking up a couple of the cards when they started showing them. Yeah. That was pretty early on when they announced it, though. So I think it was just like really big people, like, oh, these are the leaders or right. professors or something. And uh, yeah, no dwarves. So I was like, nah, fuck this set. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, no dwarf, not interested. <clears throat> no, I, I don't know. I'm just not into the spoiler thing that much. Like, I, I've never like been into trailers a whole lot. Yeah. Um, oh, you know, I, I mean, don't like demos. Right. <laughs> like, anything it's... that gives you like an idea of what something should be like is usually unfortunately misleading. Yeah. I do and I'm still pretty new to magic, but I all these spoiler things I've just kind of been avoiding cuz it's like I kind of want to see it for the first time when I open them. Right. Like I mean, I think I think that the main intention of of spoiling them is so then people can start to like brew their decks. Right. Ahead of time so then when the set drops, they can already be like, "All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to combo this and this and this and blah 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 and then and then they lose." That makes sense. Yeah. Well, because, I mean, that's that's literally the only reason why I looked at the couple that I did look at. It's like I just wanted to see if there was a dwarf. You got any dwarves in there, mate? Yeah. I mean, oh, shit. They they should they deserve their own school. Just the dwarven school. Just the dwarven I mean, school. Yeah, I mean, dwarves are cool, dude. School's cool, school, cool, cool, cool school. school. Go back school. school. School is cool. Stay in school. Yeah. Don't be no fool. Don't be a fool. Stay in school. It is cool. I like school. I'm a ghoul. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. That was um, amazing. Thank you. Scene. <sighs> That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Anyhow. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that. Dynasty Warriors is cool. Oh, the movie looks ridiculous. We talked about the trailer. That looks fucking awesome. Um, we talked about all the Mushu moves. Yep. Doing the big slammers. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Big time slammers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a golden one with Tasmanian Devil on it. That's tight. I had to beat a kid up to get it back at one point. I had one that was like, it, it was also gold, but it was like a spider. Ooh. But it was a skull. It was its body. It was like, That's you know what I'm dope. talking about? It was like etched into the gold. It was yeah. sick. What the hell was up with gold slammers? I mean, gold is cool, man. Gold's been cool for a minute. That's true. That I mean, is true. Precious metal and all. If you don't know what we're talking about, when we're talking about slammers, that means you're probably younger than like thirty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. Oh my gosh. Talking about pogs, man. Hell yeah. I wish I still had some pogs. I had a whole collection of pogs. I mean, obviously when I was a kid, but I had right. another collection of pogs that I came across at some point. Oh. But I let it slip away. I don't so, know what I did with it. I think I just gave it to somebody. I was just like, here, do you want these pogs? That and they're like sense. No. And I was like, but now they're yours. But you should have them. <laughs> but now it's too late because I'm not holding them. Dude, I used to have so many. I had a bunch of Denver Broncos. Like, oh, I know I had John Elway. Nice. And, you know, like, they had, like, the foil ones. Yeah. And so, like, I had a couple of players, not John Elway, but a couple of players that, like, the background was foil that were freaking cool. And then I had a, nice. uh, had a bunch of Ninja Turtles, of course, some Power Rangers. Did you, you remember the Cavemen ones? Yeah, those were like the OG ones. 
Yeah, or just like a caveman, like just yeah, he's like, like a fuzzy. Yeah, what's up with that? Cartoonish dude. Yeah, I remember having some of those. I was like, I, I don't know. Every time I think of Pogs, I'm like, why do I think of like that little caveman guy? I think he was like the mascot. Of was he? Pog. Oh, I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. Like, maybe he was Pog. He could have been because it was oh. based on a Hawaiian game with bottle caps. Uh-huh. So I think they kind of. Hmm. I wonder if they had took... a mascot named Pog. I gotta find out. All right, that sounds great. Cause yeah. That was such a fun game, though. Just slamming metal into cardboard, seeing which ones flipped over. <laughs> I had so many cool freaking ones. I definitely lost a couple, though. That'll happen on the... Lost some goodies? That'll happen on the, the yard. And you're playing for serious board. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 100%. That's the Pog mascot. Duh. Knew it. Yeah, yeah dude. You're so I, smart. I feel like he just came in like sets like if you bought a set of like say power ranger for some reason he was on one of them yeah he was awesome he just he just showed up throughout all of them dude oh man like the the alf one with just like this color circle on the outside Mm -hmm. oh my gosh yeah dude sick yep well that's a trip down memory lane that yeah there you have it look at that one oh damn slamming it (laughs) anyhow (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> we forgot to set a timer again. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, we did. Whatever. It's okay. It's uh, okay. It's okay. I'm trying Shh. to... It's okay. I'm okay. Shh. Um, You could definitely go and watch uh, Kong vs. Godzilla now. Have I know seen we, it? We were just talking about that, but uh, no. We were going to start HBO Max today just to watch it. Uh, is it on there? Uh, yeah. should be on there today. So... Do I have to pay for it separately? Or if I already have HBO Max, do I get to just watch it? very confused on that. I do not know. So because I'm going to find like out. I have Disney Plus. So I still have to pay to watch the right Raya movie or whatever. Right. But Disney Did you watch is it? soulless and assholes. So They're I, all, I mean, they're, they're, I they're mean, they all soulless. Are, but yeah, they're all soulless. Disney has like a whole new level of it, though. Yeah. They use, they, they target children. That's true. I didn't even think of it that way. <laughs> I just thought of the like animator abuse and all that fun stuff, but yeah. I mean, that's almost even more sickening. Is they're like doing it, <laughs> doing it to corrupt to our children, corrupt our to children, need more of their shit. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love me some Disney shit. I consume the shit out of Disney, but it's like I, they know what they're up to. You know what you're up to, Disney you sons of bitches, you I, sly old bastards. I mean, I did actually find a copy of Tall Tale on VHS the other day. Mm. Which one's that? It's like the live action version of Paul Bunyan. Mm. And he can like ride the tornadoes and shit. And he had like big blue ox. And I do not really remember because I haven't watched it yet. But I found it and I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> Dude, I don't think I've ever even. Like, I remember Paul Bunyan. I remember that being like a thing that I'm like, he did a thing. What was his thing? He turned, he I, rode a tornado? I guess so. I can't really remember. That's all I remember is there was a dude. There was like because I think there were three people in Tall Tale that are like the big guys. I think actually Paul Bunyan just had is a big dude with an axe and had the blue ox. I think somebody else rode the tornado that he could lasso up. Hmm. And I think there was a third one. I don't know. I'll have to watch it and tell you instead of just it's guess like at Johnny it. Johnny Appleseed or somebody. He's <laughs> just like, oh, plant the seeds around the world. And then and they're like, apple pies just shoot up or something. Yeah, he's, <laughs> they're like, I'm riding a tornado. He's like, oh, I'm doing something cool. And he's like, I'm planting seeds. <laughs> no, who is it for Damn real? it, Johnny. Unbelievable Adventures of Pe- Pecos Bill. Okay. Pecos Bill. All right. What does this have to do with anything? I was going to say, we could do a couple of the... Uh, John the... Henry. Oh, John Henry. And that's the other one. That's the dude with the, the hammer. Oh. oh. He's got the hammer, and he does the, the spikes into the railroad ties. Yeah. Faster than the machine. <laughs> I never heard of Pecos Bill. I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> oh, Pecos Bill is the uh Is he tornado the guy man. riding the tornadoes? Yeah. He's a fictional Ooh. cowboy in stories. Set during American westward expansion into the southwest Texas, New Mexico. Oh, well, okay. there you go. I'll come back next time and tell you if it was good or not. Mm. We'll find out.
because I remember loving it as a kid, and I found it in a thrift store the other day. I was like, yep, I'm buying that. That's like 50 cents. You're like, it's you, happening. You betcha. All right, well, shall we read some notes from the underground? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Teenage Ninja Turtles. Yes. <laughs> the yeah. magazine, mind you, not the comic book. This the is magazine. the magazine. The, is it a weekly? It's quarterly. 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 Because it came out summer, spring, winter, fall. Look, at the, look at the covers on look these, Look at though. those beautiful covers. Look these... at that. Look at that. Just look at that. Stick. It's a beautiful piece. Mm. That is a beautiful piece. Mm. There you go. There you go. For your eyes only. Because they're mine. You can't touch them. All right. He's just fighting a gorilla. Dear Leonardo, in the winter... 1991 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles magazine. Nobody sent you a letter, so I thought I would write you. I think you're the best turtle. What kinds of things do you like to do? And what other food do you like besides pizza? <laughs> Dear Andy, fuck your... Se- no, uh, besides pizza, <laughs> Leonardo... Will they answer back? <laughs> yeah, sometimes it looks like Oh, they do. okay, okay. Besides pizza, Leonardo likes lots of things. Donuts... Fresh fruit, pizza, spaghetti, pizza, pizza, bologna, pizza, broccoli, squash, and pizza. But (laughs) I'm not making that up. They said pizza that many times. But since pizza is really his favorite, that's what he eats most often. Okay. That sounds very unhealthy. Don't eat that much pizza. Eat more pizza. Notes to the underground. Dear Shredder. I really wish you'd give the turtles a break. (laughs) Everyone would stop booing you if you were a good guy. I'd rather be green than mean any time. That's from caller Darius Habananovich from Bedford, New Hampshire. Well, Darius, aren't you the optimist? I mean... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> See, now I just imagine a kid every time Shredder shows up on screen. Boo! Yeah, boo! boo! Fuck you, Shredder! <laughs> you killed my dad! <laughs> the Foot Clan stole my grandma's pills and she died! At least that's what dad tells me! <laughs> Before he left because you killed him or something <laughs> wow. bad. Okay, keep going. Your turn. Dear dudes! Uh, your magazine is perfect. I just love that Michelangelo pullout in Winter 91. <laughs> yeah, I remember when Michelangelo gave me the old pullout in the Winter of 91. <laughs> he, <he's> oh, like, <laughs> gosh. Uh, I, 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 heard his, <laughs> I heard his pullout game strong. It was, like, bodacious. Oh, man. But... Could you try to squeeze in more stuff about Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird? Oh, shit. That got, that turned into a real, like, request. No. From Matt Grady, New York, or New York, Delaware. From John Beecham. (laughs) Um, Okay. Did they answer? Nope. Okay. Nope. They're like, no, we're not talking to that. Okay, let's see here. So this is one where they respond back. Dear Turtles. Mm-mm. You guys are the greatest. My friends and I are starting a turtle-rific class newsletter called Turtle Talk. Oh, dang. We'll we'll give it out to everyone in our school. Since you guys do a magazine, could you give us some tips? By Argio Maravella, San Antonio, Texas. Oh, damn. Here we go. The best thing the turtles can tell you is to have fun with your magazine, Argio. Go ahead and write about anything you're interested in and be sure to include a lot of pictures. And maybe sometime you could send us a copy too, okay? Argio responded back. <clears throat> the paper didn't work out. Um, everyone laughed at me. I showed up to my parents and they, they put me in a home and no one will answer any of my calls. I have no money. And they're telling me that I'll never get to see my family again. Love you very much, Argio. <laughs> oh, shit, Argio. <laughs> you went through some, some tough times there. Dear Donatello. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like the pullout in the fall <laughs> issue mm. a lot. Mm. Me too. <laughs> I almost fainted. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, I hate s- that they call it a pullout. Like, I know. When I saw it, it <laughs> no. <laughs> Is it hot in your sewer? <laughs> That's the end of a fucking question. <laughs> Damn it, Chris Gardner from North Kingston, Rhode Island. Damn you! <laughs> what? Donnie's like, oh yeah. Uh, you betcha. It's real hot down here. Everyone sweats down here. <laughs> <laughs> the response? The sewer is usually cool and comfortable, says Donatello. Except in the summer. And thanks for the compliments on the winter issue. We hope you like this issue twice as much. Twice as nice. Let me try twice. to let me try to find a good one here. Sorry. Oh my gosh. I love how like most of these are just I loved the last issue. If you missed it, you fucking suck. You, I hate you. You shouldn't have missed it. All right, all right, all right. Let's see here. Let's see here. Um Dear Turtles. <clears throat> Sorry. Dear Turtles, I read Seafood Surprise, and I loved it! It's great when you show new characters who have never been seen before. I have even made up my own. By Robert Salzman. Big Clifty, Kentucky. Thanks, Robert. Cool. Here's a weird one. Not that all any of them haven't been weird. This one's just, like, shocking. Not shocking. I'm going to stop talking. Oh, look at it. that. There's more. There's so many more. There's more? Dude. I thought it was just the one on the, the pictures. Is, how much? Dear, how f- okay, let's go. Dear Turtles, my parents took me to Florida for Christmas vacation, and I saw you in Disney World slash MGM Studio theme park. You guys are great. Why Those, were the turtles there? I mean, dude, they had a musical. Do you remember? Um, yeah. I Coming went, out of their shells. Yeah, I went to that. When I was a kid. I'm so fucking jealous. I really am. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, never got to go, but I, I, oh man, I have the, the VHS tape of it. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not the same. It's not. All right. It will never be the same. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Dear Turtles, I'm just going to pick one here. My mom and I won a pizza cook off in my school for our Cowabunga pizza. It had mushrooms and olives, peppers, bologna, salami, avocados, three types of cheese, zucchini, eggplant, and sprouts on it by Dana McDoherty, Somerville, New Jersey. Thanks, Dana. (gasps) Dude, I have no more notes to the underground. Mine apparently only has that one page. Dude, I have so many. But mine, f- the fresh, the radical, the maximum. Apparently they're talking about movies and s- like new shit coming out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Check this out. That most outrageous duo, Bill and Ted, are back in an excellent new adventure. And what a surprise. It's called Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure 2. Yeah. Which, no, it's not. From Orion Pictures, this time Bill S. Preston and Ted Theodore Logan meet their ro- evil twins who happen to be robots. It's up to the Rufus dude of the future to save them in time. Whoa. 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 That sounds most bodacious. Rufus dick. Go. Oh. <laughs> I'm just... And they talk about the Rocketeer. God damn, there were good-ass movies coming out at this time. Oh, did you find the pull, the pull out? Shit, I never... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we know. Stop. Let's see. Um, oh, look at this. They got a... Co- you said there was not a comic book in here. Look at you. Look. No, each live. one of them has a comic. No way, dude. They're just this not is the comic book. No They're... way. These are this. This. This is way better. Look at this artwork. Here's Hold my on. Raphael pull out. Damn, that's pretty sick. That was pretty dope. Look at this artwork. Look at that shit. You see that? That's some quality stuff right there. I think I'm showing you the right page. Look at his <laughs> face. He's like, Yeah. What's up? I don't even know what you're looking at. All right. When you send in your payment along with a renewal order. Oh, this uh, is from at the order form 
at the right, you'll get a great free gift, which is high techs spin that wheel on cassette tape. Mm. Sorry. You know there's not a whole lot going on news-wise when we're busting out the turtle magazines and just seeing what the fuck is going on. I mean, I don't know. What it's this is this is interesting. I mean, you can uh remember remember Kushkins? Oh. Advertisement for Kushkins. I never had one of those. But I always thought they were pretty cool. They were like little soft balls, but they had faces and you could Bean your brother in the head with him really hard when you're at your cousin's house. Hell yeah, you could. It was great. <laughs> Those were good times. Uh, oh my hey, goodness. speaking of turtles, watch. Let me. Sh- let me oh, you want to show them the new? Yeah. It's gonna oh. become part of our new background at some point when we find a place for him. Well, when we get when we get the uh, buddy Flash hooked it up with the 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 turtle or the Raphael and Casey Jones, but uh, you know, getting these um. Uh, Get these things out of here, man. That's a task. We've been having a hard time with it. I mean, it's mostly because I'm ADHD. I can't focus for that long. And I just need something sharp. I, I, I didn't want to pull on it too hard and break something or, you know, I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be careful with that pull out. I mean, um. <laughs> you, you, you do. I mean, you wouldn't, wouldn't want to tear. Pull out. Yep. <laughs> Take off for space camp. Hey man, dude, did you ever want to go to space camp? I didn't even. Fuck yeah, I did. Cause we always went to Texas for our summer vacation. Yeah. Which meant I went to NASA at least fifteen times in my lifetime. Really. And every time we <gasps> went, I was like, "This is incredible!" And they'd always advertise the space camp. I never gotta go. Dude, I didn't even know Space Camp was, like, a real thing. I thought that was, like, a fake. I thought that was just, like, a movie. I actually found that movie on VHS the other week. See, I was just like, oh, man, Space Camp. That'd be cool if that existed. It was, like, never, like, explained to me that that was, like, a thing. Like, hey, you could go to Space Camp. It's like, what do you do there? Do you go to space? No. Well, then does well it what the fuck is it? Why is it called Space Camp? Well, because it's like you pretend you go to space. It's like, I could do that in my living room. You could do that when you just visit NASA. It's, I, don't, I don't know if they do that anymore, The though. only reason anybody wants to go to Space Camp is so they can get inside the giant spinny thing and go fast. That's all anybody wants. Oh. That's all anybody wants. Nobody cares about it. This big spinny thing, the big it's big rotating spinning thing. You sit there and you're like, whoa, right. it's going so fast. That's all anybody oh, cares dude. about at Space Camp. This, the flight simulator is dope. Okay, flight simulator is probably pretty cool. The uh, anti-gravity thing, I bet you there's like a a free fall or something. Or oh, like some yeah, sort of now thing. that they, like where the, the wind is just pushing you up. Right. I, I don't think that was a thing back in the day, but probably part of it now. But I mean like when you think of Space Camp, when you think of like space training – any montage where they're like, we're going to space. You got to learn how to be a spaceman. You're the next level space ranger. They always got to get inside the fucking spinning thing. And they're like, oh, it's spinning so fast. I wasn't expecting the this, this one thing that it's supposed to do. I didn't expect it to do it that well. Whoa. It's going so much faster than I had anticipated. I don't know. Everybody always seems surprised by the spinny thing. And that's that's what I think. Maybe it's just a fantasy of mine. I'm going to like sit in it and be like, this isn't that fast. <laughs> <laughs> As I pass out and die. <laughs> the blood clots in my heart. And I'm like... <laughs> I actually just found a video game section to the fresh, the radical, and the maximum. What? Nintendo has Mario. NEC has Bonk. And now, Genesis has Sonic the Hedgehog. Don't forget it. A new game from Sega. Sonic flies across the screen at a death-defying pace. Players control him as he battles evil insectoids and ghoulies on both land and sea. One game screen even features a rotating maze. Holy shnikes. You want to see something cool? Whoa. It's an adver- It's an <laughs> advertisement from Musha. <laughs> That's crazy. One of the uh, rarest, like, shmups, which is a shoot 'em up 
game, like one of the, like, it's a little ship, you know, Defender or uh, Galaxian or one of them styles. But yeah, Musha is like the uh, the rarest, I think, shmup on the Genesis. Could oh, be I was wrong. Say even more than Kiko. Just on the Genesis. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think maybe I mean Crusader of Senti. I'm trying to think of like rare Genesis games. I know Crusader of Senti's up there now. I know. I think it's Musha. I think Musha's at the top. I have to confirm. Cool. Well, that was actually super fun. I'm happy I brought those magazines. <laughs> yeah, that worked out. <laughs> they were ridiculous. Sorry about, like, right before that, I dude, I don't know what it was. My coffee was just like, boo. My brain just powered down. I was like, I don't know okay. what was going on. It happened. It was, it's this new romantic lighting that we're trying. It's, like, not as bright and stuff. It's very comfortable. <laughs> it's because we knew we were going to be talking about pull outs. <laughs> I can't get over. Did Why you? did they keep calling them that? Their center, oh my gosh, like hey man, poster centerfolds, centerfold. Yeah. Seriously, anything would have been better. Uh, what was I looking up? I forgot already. Um, the what rarest Genesis game, oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Price All right. Train. Sorry, oh, I got distracted. Good. You started talking about pulling out again. I know. Um, talk about pulling out is it's always <laughs> distracting. Um, <laughs> we're children. Just another random thing that I brought with me today was. The Odd World Abe's Exodus strategy guide. I just brought it to make a bigger stack when I slammed down the freaking uh, Odd World Abe's Origins onto the table during the news. You'll see. You'll see. You'll all see You'll eventually. See. They'll all see my greatest work. I do okay. love strategy guides though, because I yeah. don't know. Crusader of Senti with the cardboard box, then Crusader of Senti. Spider-Man collector's edition, but I, I, we're talking about just games, not collector's editions. And then Musha. Mm. But Crusader of Senti is tops right now. I had a complete in-box copy of that, the cardboard box version of it. Really? It's worth like 1500 bucks now. Holy I think I, you know, even back then, I think I sold it for like 800 wow. or 200 Who knows? What is Outback Joey? Outback Joey? There's a game called Outback Joey, and it's... Ten thousand dollars or something. Whoa! Yeah, it's a weird one. I've never seen that. I wonder if it's like a only got one made or something goofy like that. Right. Hmm. Well, cool beans. I feel like this is a good place to stop. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'm getting distracted. I'm just looking That's at. Okay. I, I, I'm just looking at Sega Genesis games. Like, hey man, I don't. I don't have this one. I should get it. I yeah. should get this. <laughs> just getting lost What's in the this? internet. This is why I like should never pick up a computer. I'm like. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Let me just... Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you guys for being here. Let us know what you think of our uh, topics this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially the one where we talk about the... No, I'm just kidding. Sh should we cut them short two, mm two weeks in a row? No. Okay. Well, thank you again for being here. We really do appreciate it. Uh, if you do want to hear us talk about a certain topic, let us know. Or if you just have like a random question that you want answered, like, what's our favorite console? I know we've talked about it already, but that was just the first example question I had. So, you know, if you've got questions, send that note to the underground. Yeah, I mean, hit, hit us in the comments section and let us know. I mean, if you want to hear more about, like, level seven stuff like the in-store uh workings operations stuff like that like questions about that 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 could be interesting topics um i just never want to like push that too much so it's whatever if you guys are interested in though in that though that perspective of things just like from the store side of stuff um we can definitely uh explore that so cool yeah that sounds awesome all right well thank you again for being here and Official sign-off. Official sign-off. Goodbye.